What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I'm thoroughly convinced that Terra Luna Classic is that sleeping giant that we all don't know is there. A bunch of people want to think that it's there. I'm firmly convinced that this is a sleeping giant. It's something that will blow up out of nowhere and we'll see multiple people that um, decide to FOMO into this thing because of what it can be. And I'm excited for what it will be because I firmly believe that we will see some of these higher levels that uh, people think is just a dream, but I really think is reality. Seeing one cent is not a ridiculous market cap. Seeing a level of two cents is not a ridiculous market cap. However, getting to that level of a dollar at the current supply may be a little bit higher than what you can expect within a market cap for Terra Luna Classic, to be honest. But it doesn't mean that you can't see... Um, you know, this completely explode before your eyes. It doesn't mean that you can't see your overall position jump by 100%. It doesn't mean that. It, it means that you can. It means that you have the possibility. So we're going to talk about Terra Luna Classic in this video, why I am strong and I still believe in this position. No matter how many people I hear of them selling their position, you have to understand that there are opportunities out there. Not every opportunity is going to be an absolute banger. And if it, if it is, then congratulations. You somehow have the best luck possible. But when you do find that one that is a sleeping giant, that does have the backing of a large community, that does have the possibility of decreasing that supply, getting back to a form of normalcy, you got to stick with that, right? And this is my position. I firmly believe it. Now, you guys need to do your own research. I know this may be part of your research in order to do it, but I definitely believe that this is one of those plays. So let's talk about that, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are also in the description. We're starting to do a lot more on Patreon. We have the communities that are built, and I know communities are fun. It's kind of like Discord, honestly, but through Patreon. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description. Just go through the messages. I believe you can only access the communities on mobile. So you have to have the app downloaded to do that. I also have my exit plans on there, which we will be updating and we'll provide the new exit plans to, I believe, all groups um, within there. But I'll have to check um, what it's labeled right now. But I believe it's either all groups or right after the Discord level. So Profit Hands level, if you want to check that out. <clears throat> but if we're talking about Terra Luna Classic, we have to understand my journey and why I'm so strong on it to begin with. If you don't know, I saw Terra Luna Classic as a falling knife, or a lot of people saw it as a falling knife. I saw it as a falling butter knife or a falling spoon. I knew it wasn't going to cut me. I knew it was going to give me an opportunity. So I caught it at the bottom, at the very, very bottom. I mean, literally the lowest of the low that you could possibly get to, to where a lot of people don't believe where I got this price. And uh, I got it at 0 .0000006. CoinGecko shows the lowest price as six zeros nine. It didn't even track it to that low. That's how low I actually got it. Coin Market Cap over here doesn't um, even show it hitting six zeros. Some exchanges didn't even show it hitting five zeros. So what's crazy to me is that um, we have all these different uh, things that are here, whichever, if you stop trading, you didn't really see that hit those lowest prices, but I was able to purchase it because I believed in it. Did I want to purchase more? Absolutely, I wanted to purchase more, but I still blame my bank, which uh, I haven't forgiven at this point. I just don't want to change it because all my bills really run through it, but I have opened another bank. So that banking institution, you, you just, you didn't lose a customer, but you know, majority of the funds go to another place. So you lost, you sort of lost a customer, but anyways, we're not here for that. I ended up buying at those lows and, and ended up profiting a total of $4,800 and still have 55 million coins left. After spending $43 on a play and pro uh, profiting $4,800, yeah, I'll take that any day of the week. However, I believe in this so much further than just what I have. I could run away with $10,000 off of a $43 gain. That would be amazing. But there's so much more left on the table there's so much more left on the table right now that we can see levels of not only just single digits, but also, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even millions of thousands of dollars, millions of thousands, millions of dollars from some people. So <laughs> anyways, 
millions of thousands. That's, that sounds like a plan. Um, but let's go ahead and look at uh, Terra Luna Classic before I completely lose my mind here. So if we currently look at Terra Luna Classic, it's at 0. 0.00007796. We are seeing the market down today. So we're seeing Terra Luna Classic that is also down. Um, this has, you know, created maybe a little bit of a, a double top scenario. You're seeing, you know, double touch points, some uh, bottoms, uh, some bottom touch points here. It did break through here as you saw everything kind of crash down in like the last hour or so. And when I recorded this video, um, which is three, three, uh, 26. So an hour before that, um, but you saw things that were decreasing heavily and Terra Luna classic was one of those things. Obviously we're not worried about this right here. What we're worried about is the future. What's the future, not what's the now the current supply that you have there, a total supply of 6.8 trillion. We have to find a way to burn down that burn down that entire supply in order to get to the one dollar price that we really want to. However, a one dollar price isn't the only way to get to a wealthy position. You understand that there are four zeros here where we currently stand at this price. Um, if you decided to invest, you know, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, you can find a way to get to way higher levels by turning that 1,000 into uh, 10,000, into 100,000. And that is a lot of money as you see those zeros get dropped off. So one cent is still a, a feasible um, you know, price to get to. That's literally two zeros that are dropped off and get to a seven. Um, that would be what you get to $100,000 if you had $1,000 invested in there. So when I look at this and I look at the, the goal, I look at this... Um, this overall process and where it can go. Terra Luna Classic, it shows me so much with the community. The community behind it were so strong on what this can do um, for people, for investors, for the small guys, the little guys, not necessarily the big guys, because if we invest into things like uh, BTC or Ethereum or BNB, the top 10, honestly, they're controlled by you know these bigger institutions big money smart money uh financial institutions they're controlled by them i mean some of them are not right you look at dogecoin most likely not it is pushed by somebody that is um you know in the one percent literally the one percent <laughs> um elon musk and then you know you have other ones that are out there but i would say if you talk about bitcoin and ethereum uh a lot is being invested into there, especially when it comes to traditionalists and you know people that are smart money. For Terra Luna Classic, you don't have that. You don't have uh, a ton of huge um, or, or wealthiest wealthiest people that are in the world that are investing into this play, right? You have some of the people that truly believe in the community building up a position. And the reason why cryptocurrency survives is because of the community, because of the individuals that decide to invest into it as a group. And that's what we're doing with Terra Luna Classic. So I think that this dream of one cent is alive. I think that this dream of 10 cents is alive. I think you can be wealthy beyond your wildest dreams with this position. However, this all comes from me, right? I, I want to see you guys break this down a little bit more in your own ways and understand if it is a sleeping giant to you. It's a sleeping giant to me because I've already gained my initial investment. It's, it may not be a sleeping giant to you. It may be more of like, I want to be able to just be wealthy from this and you didn't collect your initial investment yet, right? You don't have that free gravy train for you to, um, you know, take from Terra Luna Classic. I understand where you're coming from, you know? So in my head, it is a sleeping giant. In your head, it might be the same way, but I want you guys to have a realistic perspective of where this is going because a one cent price is a 59, all right, now $58 billion market cap. That is not unheard of. A two cent price is somewhere around a hundred plus billion dollar market cap. Still not unheard of, but definitely on the higher side. So a lot of these other areas that we can see it get to, whether it's a 10 billion, 20 billion, is still going to be gravy for a lot of us, right? So uh, that's my pitch. That's my elevator pitch of this position and why I believe it's gonna be so strong. But guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also make sure you check out any of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.